Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Chloe and Cabbage here, uh, back for another video. This one's a recent buy on finds. I don't really have too many records, maybe maybe eight, maybe ten. Um, but my goodness, here's a good here's a good little tip for digging that uh, if you don't already know, something that I do. Let's turn this down a bit. Listen to how wicked this music is. I will be talking about this record in a bit. But here's what I did. I went to one of my local record stores and they mostly deal with like, uh, you know, a lot of country, not the best record store. They've been there forever. Um, and they kind of, they price their records. They don't really know really what they have. Um, and so I usually check like the jazz section and the rock section and stuff, but I decided this time to delve really into the easy listening section, and I found some absolute gems, man. I could, I, like the one we're listening to, for example, is, I can't even express how much of a monster, monster of an awesome record this is. I put it on, and I was like, holy fucking shit, this could be like one of my, the best albums I have in my collection, seriously. It's that good. Like, the musicianship, all right, I'll stop yapping about it and show it to you. It's, holy shit, Carl Ratzer, In Search of the Ghost. Oh, look how much I paid for it. I looked it up online, it goes for like fucking 30, 40 bucks. <clears throat> this guy can play guitar. And this is a 70s, this was uh, 78 on Vanguard Records. And uh, the only information on the back about this guy is this. Carl Ratzer, 27, was born in Vienna, Austria. He came to the United States five years ago and now lives in New York City. That's it. And then there's like the crazy, crazy, crazy jazz funk. Like he can totally play. That song Asteroid, seven minutes, 40 seconds long. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I'm just gushing about this record because it's just, it, honestly, if you guys see it, get an opportunity to pick it up, pick it up, because it's just smoking the entire thing. It's, the entire thing is awesome. This cat can play guitar, and he's joined with Jerry Steak on flute, piccolo, Armstrong bass flute, Bill McPherson on alto sax and bass clarinet, Joe Chambers on drums, marimba, and piano, Eddie Gomez on bass, and Ray Mantilla on congas and percussion. That's one of the things I really like about this record. One of the many things, but the percussion in the background gives it this sort of slight Latin feel. It's really, really great record. Ah, oh, I know I'm going on about it, but if you heard it, you would understand. Well, you hear it in the background. I had to play this as the background music. I know it might be a little loud, but here I'll just be, I'll just shut up for a second. You can listen to it. Oh man. It's so good, it's so good. Man, okay, on to the next record. <clears throat> this isn't even the best tomb. Oh, it's going into uh, Prime Primate is the next tomb. And then I just I want you to hear Asteroids, which is the last tomb, man. Holy shit. I found this one here for two dollars and fifty cents. I don't know what it was doing in the easy listening section, but it was, and I don't know who the hell they are. Maybe someone can help me. I, I do believe they're a German band, but it's the Ramblers. The kids are back, back to rock and roll. It's totally sealed, like totally sealed. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, they look like, you know, they look like they could be the Rolling Stones or the, or, the, or what's that band? Uh, Oh, the strokes. <laughs> anyway, there's the back. I haven't opened it yet, just I haven't, A, had a chance to listen to it, and B, I just, I kind of like to know what it's worth. I know it's not all about that with me, like, I'm not, I'm not hell-bent, you know, having expensive records, but I'm just curious, you know, this, this may be, like, I don't know, for all I know, it could be, like, a hundred dollar record, un, like, unopened, who knows, in fact. But I, I'm gonna eventually open it anyways. I buy my records to listen to, not to not to gain, you know, worth. But anyways, the Ramblers. <clears throat> I have no idea what it sounds like, so I can't even tell you. But, uh, 
I also picked this up in the, in the easy listening section. $3 from 1982. This is Mike Oldfield's Crises. I haven't listened to it yet. I sampled it a bit and, and it's all over the place, man. It's totally all over the place. Some vocals and like a lot of, you know, electronic sounds is what he's known for. Listen to the flute here. Man. Unbelievable. Also in the in the listening section is uh, this was just a, a super good score on 4 AD. This is Harold Bud, uh, Harold Bud, Elizabeth Fraser, Robin Guthrie, and and Simon Ray, Raymond. Uh, the girls, Elizabeth and Robin, are in Cocteau Twins, and Harold Bud is like a you know, a sort of an ambient artist, piano based. And uh, this is just great. This is, if you know the Cocteau Twins, <clears throat> amazing songstress, great, great musicians. Uh, this is just really, really great to find. Um, some artwork on the inside. On the 4AD rate label, Vertigo. Of course it's upside down. Boy, I can't believe I just touched the record, but oh well. There we go. <clears throat> see what time it was. Um, I only have a few more records to go. Hopefully you're not bored. <laughs> Some really great news, Derek, with your record. Um, fantastic that, uh, that you're selling so many from all over the world. I'd, I'd be right there with everybody, but uh, unfortunately, it's just uh, not in the cards right now financially for me. Um, I am enjoying the CD though, but maybe I can get a second press or something. Um, I'm not asking you to hold it though, just <laughs> if it comes around, I, I, will, uh, I will try to get uh, some vinyl from you, man, because uh, I really appreciate your work, all your hard work with this. And tip of my hat to Dave Sequoia. David Sequoia Flame too for helping you out and the anonymous donor. You know, it's nice to have some help, you know, it is. All right, this was a very pleasant surprise. This is, I didn't know really what to expect, but uh, I'll tell you what caught my eye. This is Advanced Record Recording FGR-4 by Philip Renfeld, new music for solo clarinet. And the first tune on here is John Cage uh, tune, if you want to call it a tune, but uh, yeah, it's uh, this guy here plays it, and it's really, really cool. It's like it says solo clarinet, but it, it, at times, like he just gets these growly notes out of it, and just uh, maybe I'll play it next video I do in the background. It'll annoy some people, regard like you know. Undoubtedly, it'll it'll annoy people, but it's a wonderful it's a wonderful like example of just one uh, instrument can sound like it's really really cool. And I again I got that for like look at how much I got that for in the easy listening. This is not easy listening. This is very deep and difficult listening to be honest. And it's two dollars and fifty cents. Oh man, this one I took a chance on, and this okay. Listen to this. This is, listen to this, guys. This may be a long video because I want you to hear this. This is the song Asteroids by Carl Ratzer. 1978, and he's getting sounds like that out of his guitar. one I took a chance on, Emerging, K. Gardner, wonderful, wonderful record, flute based, uh, but the, at times the, she puts like uh, effects on the flute 
like delays and and, and whatnot and uh, oh man that combined with piano guitar cello really 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 great record again in the in the easy listening three dollars there she is there Kate Gardner this is fantastic uh, Astral Traveler Chris you would love this I know you would you too Derek and Big Star I know you like flute speaking of flute Paul Horn sketches a collection three dollars crazy just a, just honestly a killer example of what he can do selections from the golden flute series and last but not least um, <clears throat> music that I listened to when I was a kid not by choice but from my father um, and I grew to I grew to like and it's a uh, John Mayo, uh, 1973 album, um, 10 Years Are Gone, I think it's called. Really great. Sugarcane Harris plays uh, violin on this, Blue Mitchell trumpet, uh, Red Holloway on tenor, Freddie Robinson on guitar, man, he can play, and Victor Gaskin on bass. Really great all star lineup. Parts of this are fantastic. Parts are just kind of generic sort of blues, you know. But I like it a lot. Sorry, I'll turn this down. Just giving you an example of this, this crazy, crazy awesome album. Again, Carl Rapser. Does he look like he means business? He does mean business. All right, Glowing Cabbage signing off for yet another video on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, there's a lot of really wonderful people here, man, and I'm just happy to be involved, you know? Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.